Hi everyone, I'm Ramsey Jones, and this is Jonesing for Food, a channel dedicated to the stars of Hollywood, like the Pillsbury Doughboy, Mr. Potato Head, and Kevin Bacon. For breakfast, I'm going to the Pie Hole. It is a popular fast, casual cafe and bakery in Hollywood. Here they serve delicious sweet and savory pies. I am taking my breakfast to the Hollywood sign. First I drove to Canyon Drive and then I hiked up to the Hollywood sign with my pies. Alright, I finally made it up here. I'm going to start off with this quiche, but to be honest, I'm looking forward to those pies a lot more. The only reason I'm eating this quiche is because I worked out a lot and I just did that big hike, so I actually need some protein. Uh, this one looks interesting. It has spinach in it too, so it's extra healthy. Mm. That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, the egg is really smooth. I don't know how to describe it. It's not even undercooked. It's just like kind of mushy. Maybe it is undercooked. I kind of need some more cheese flavor in this though. The crust is super nice. It's pretty flaky. That's a really buttery crust. So maybe this isn't that healthy actually. I don't think quiches are supposed to be healthy. I bet you can make a healthy quiche though. It's probably possible. A gluten-free healthy quiche. I bet we could find that in California. That's for sure. It's a decent quiche. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's pretty, pretty great. I would say that quiche I had in Vegas was 10 times better. So the lady that helped me, she told me that this Earl Grey tea pie is what they're known for. It's got Earl Grey white chocolate mousse, chocolate ganache. Ganache is basically chocolate mixed with cream and pistachios on top. So with one bite, I'm going to put on all the calories I just burned off from that hike. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, it's so smooth. It's all moussey, right? It's whipped cream and mousse. And uh, you can taste that Earl Grey tea flavor there. It's just a subtle sweet flavor. Uh, the crust is pretty much the same crust that they use for their quiche. And the uh, pistachios give it some nice crunch. If you're a fan of Earl Grey tea and pistachios and pies, you're gonna love this. Now, it's making me shut my pie hole because I'm stuffing myself with pie. I don't know who invented that term. Was everybody just eating pies back in the day and they called the mouth the pie hole? Like, is that, was that a t history of, in time? Because if that is a history in time, I want to be teleported to that time in history because I could eat nothing but pies. Pies are awesome. The lady that helped me, she gave me this Mexican chocolate pie for free. I'm getting so many free things while I'm doing these food reviews. I should have started this years ago. If you want to get free things, just tell people that you're doing a YouTube channel and you're, you're reviewing food. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, this is freaking awesome. Maybe I just like chocolate more. This chocolate is really thick and like, kind of like a uh, solid chocolate, almost like a solid chocolate. It goes down smooth, that's for sure. It's a nice tequila shot of chocolate. Mmm, oh yeah. Never thought I'd have such a good chocolate pie and front of the Hollywood sign. This is the star of Hollywood. This should get its own star. The Mexican chocolate pie at the pie hole. But you don't really want a star down in Hollywood. It's kind of dumpy. The crust is also different. It's more like a graham cracker crust. This is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm just really enjoying this chocolate pie. I would recommend it in a heartbeat. For lunch, I'm going to Sugarfish. Their menu features only traditional base sushi of the highest quality. I then enjoyed my sushi in front of the Chinese theater, where you see the rocks is begging you to subscribe button.
you guys please step to the last box to your left. Okay, I knew this was going to be difficult trying to film in front of the Chinese theater, but I had to do it. It's almost as crazy as Fremont Street. Anyways, look at the box that this comes in. It looks pretty awesome. It's so uh, organized. All right, I'm going to start with the Nigiri sushi first, and then we'll go on to the rolls. Uh, let's try the least crazy. We'll try the salmon. Wow. That just disappeared in my mouth as soon as I put it in there. This is fantastic. And it's the prettiest sushi I've ever seen in my life. Just a subtle taste of salmon there. And the rice is, uh, you know, it's nice and sticky like it's supposed to be. They say the rice is what makes the sushi. And it makes this sushi pretty damn amazing. Wow. Another great piece of sushi. That was the shrimp nigiri I just had. Another very melt in the mouth type experience. And a subtle taste of shrimp there. We got the tuna nigiri sushi here. Nigiri sushi is what actually you find in Japan. You don't really find the rolls in Japan. It's kind of an American thing and Canadian thing as well. I actually prefer the rolls because they, you, they, it has a lot more ingredients in them. Mm. Oh. This is some of the best sushi that I've ever had in my life. This is the Japanese yellowtail uh, nigiri sushi. I don't know what Japanese yellowtail is. You just said it was just a Japanese fish. Mm. Yeah, it's very light. It's good that I'm having such a light lunch because I ate all those pies. Uh, this is the fish roll. Didn't say what type of fish it was. It seems kind of fishy, doesn't it? No, I don't care what type of fish that is. It's pretty awesome. I think it's tuna. It seems like tuna. And now, we got the crab roll. Save the best for last. I love crab. Mm. This meal is called the Trust Me Box, and you can trust them. They, they put them all together nicely, and it looks fantastic. It tastes fantastic. And uh, I wouldn't recommend eating in front of this place, though. It's too, way too busy. And what's kind of funny, there's a huge line right here in front of the Chinese theater. And I was like, what is this line for? And it's for this thing called Line Friends. I've never heard that before, and it's a, bu it's a bunch of cartoon characters. I'm not really sure why a bunch of adults are in line for like cartoon animals. I think they're stuffed animals or something like that. It's kind of weird. But then again, I do get dressed up as you know, animals and things, so I'm one to talk, aren't I? These are uh, pretty normal. Nothing special about them. And you get sashimi. Mm. I don't know. That was a little bit rubbery, actually. I don't know what sushi that sashimi that was. That was tuna sashimi. Not the best tuna sashimi, actually. Uh, I have nothing else to say other than don't come to Hollywood. Just kidding. <laughs> For dinner, I'm going to Petite Torres. It is a popular French restaurant in Hollywood. I enjoyed my dinner at the restaurant where you see the oh so beautiful like button. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this review done quick before it gets too busy in here. I'm not taking the food to go because they don't allow it at the restaurant. And I can kind of see why the burger is kind of sloppy, but it looks pretty amazing and I had to have it. Plus there wasn't anything really close by that I could take this to that was kind of interesting. Okay, so this Big Mac burger, I guess they're copying McDonald's there, is a double cheeseburger with Bordelais sauce. A Bordelais sauce is like a red wine reduction sauce and then special sauce. He said it was like a Russian sauce and fritz, uh, special word for fries. So let's try her out here. Oh, also I didn't bring my little tripod, so I have to stand in the restaurant while I'm doing this. It's a little awkward. It's even more awkward than trying to review food in front of that Chinese theater. Oh, look how sloppy this looks. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's just so, so decadent. Oh, and so juicy. I'm just 
full of like kind of a balsamic vinegar flavor there. The brioche bun is just super soft and super tasty. It's a very greasy burger, but you know me, I'm digging the grease. Oh man, <laughs> you gotta have this when you come here. This is freaking amazing. The uh, patties are perfectly cooked. They're medium. They're really like juicy and full flavor. They give you a ton of cheese on here, which is awesome. Oh, and this sauce, it's uh, kind of tangy. By the way, these fries, they're really like high-end McDonald's fries. They're almost a bit better than McDonald's fries. They are better than McDonald's fries. Let's be honest here. Petite Torres, I gotta try some of the other stuff on the menu here. I gotta, this, this is one of my favorites so far. I'm gonna give this a Jones score of 19 out of 20. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and remember the stars of Hollywood, like Ronald McDonald and the Cookie Monster, so you can keep jonesing for food. <laughs> <laughs>